I'm gonna make another little old video while I'm riding. Hey, Radio Rooster. Here's a flare out cock I've raced many out of this year. Bred him to hatch hens. Here's a black McCray cock. There's a hatch flare, yeah. Another one. There's old broodcock I've been breeding. Thought I'd put him out here and let him rest a while. There's pure flare, yeah. I've got several out of him. Another hatch flare eye. That's old shaggy dude. I bred him a good bit this time. Matter of fact, I think they're, these are his sons. I've cleaned all this off. Fixing to put me up about a six strand electric fence. That was a rough job for an old man because it all did look like that right there. There's some more of my hatch flare eye stags. This one right there is that a shaggy dude. <laughs> Looks like it. Show you some of my rubles. I move them around all the time. Boy, I like to get out here in these big pens on green grass. <laughs> these will be for next year. They're, they're just now coming about a year old.
That's a round head and a seal, black round head and a seal from Jeremy Chandler. I hadn't raised nothing out of her this year. My buddy, he's had her. I think he's he's raised a bunch out of her on a Harold Brown cross on a Harold Brown hat. I'm gonna breed her the black McCray cock when she starts back laying. He just brought her home the other day. She's been set. All this right in here was growed up in hedgerow bushes. I'm gonna start right there at that pole, or maybe a five foot past the pole with my leg fence. We'll just take a little ride up here on the line. Come all the way up here. Gus was riding with me, but he can't stand it. He thinks there's a rabbit out here somewhere, a squirrel. I'll have to move these pins back over here when I get my fence, because my fence is coming just about where these pins sit. Coming right here, and I'm gonna go right. I'm gonna take that fence down right there, but I'm going all the way down to the end of it. This is one of my inbred ruble stags, and I'm breeding him to a Jeremy Chandler ACL hen. We'll see what that'll do. I ain't never really had a whole lot of luck with ACLs. I just like to fool with them. You never know. This is my old granny hen, we call her. Number three family ruble. I'm breeding her back to her grandson. And the only way you can do it, I can do it, is just leave the rooster. I just put the rooster in there and let him breed her and take him out. Just let her lay an egg on the ground. I put it in the egg cart and I get enough. I'll stick under another hen. That's about the only way you can do it. If you put her in a nest, leave the rooster in there, she'll sit right up there on that roost pole. Because she don't like no rooster, boy. I guess I could come up the other side. Y'all done see everything. It's some more rubles. There's my light side family. 
There's pure flare, huh? I've been breeding. I've bred him to a bunch of real ruble hatch hens this time. There's a radio and ruble stag. I've got about five of them. They hatched off late last year. There's a pure flare out stag. That's a pure ruble. Them some radio uh, ruble hatches. Radio cock bred to a ruble hatch hen. I've got several of them. They come green leg and blue leg. Pure flare eye stag. Pure ruble hen in here freshening up. There's another hatch flare eye. There's the pure McCray hen. I'm fixing to turn all these hens out. And there's the Spangle, Colonel Gibbons. These come from Widowmaker Farms. There's a radio and flare eye cross. I don't know what they're gonna do. He's big. Here's another one. He come white leg. There's another pure ruble. There's another pure ruble. There's pure flare eye. Meaner than the devil. There's another son out of Shaggy Dude. Alright, thanks for watching.